Hello, hello, it's Friday. Let's do a little sewing chat. I've got some sewing plans to share with you. There's some more free patterns from Sew News Magazine and a little bit of life in general. Welcome to my channel, Sharon Sews. This is a channel where we chat about sewing. First of all, thank you for leaving comments on last week's video where I asked for help on who to contact at Amazon or how to contact Amazon to let them know that there was an ebook out there that had taken some of my content that was from my sewing blog, Free to All of You, and published it and was charging for that content. I haven't contacted them yet. I'll let you know next week how that goes. Have you seen the five questions, one take challenge that's been going around on the sewing YouTube channels? I have been thinking about doing it, but if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably have guessed that I can't do anything in one take. I started actually putting my outtakes at the end of my videos because there were so many of them. That's why I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the challenge or not. I honestly don't know if I could do it in one take. I have a little story for you. I had an opportunity to appear on an episode of Sewed All TV a couple years ago, and they didn't tell me that it should be just one take. Well, I was used to working with a really fantastic video production team for my job, which was with a city, and I was used to them cutting and letting me retake whenever I needed to. So I didn't realize this sew it all taping was supposed to be one take. And I stumbled over my words in the middle of demonstrating something. And I said, oh, cut. And my husband, who was sitting in the control room watching, told me later that all the producers just stopped and looked at one another and said, did she really say that? Yeah, I kind of messed them up. Maybe why I wasn't invited to come back and do another episode. Learned my lesson. Now I film by myself and I edit by myself. So I just cut out what I don't think is necessary. All that to see, do you see how I ramble? All that just to tell you that I'm thinking about doing the five questions one take. I just don't know if I can actually do it in one take. So what do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Should I try it or not? Do you see this little garment right here? This is McCall's 8241. 8241 and I want to share it with you because I want you to know that this thing is huge it runs so big this is the current sew your view over on Instagram if you are on Instagram it's hashtag sew your view you can see it and I bought this pattern because I thought it was a really cute little blanket poncho type pattern which is very trendy this fall and winter by the way which I don't know maybe it's always trendy I did find some sweater knit when I was digging around in my stash kind of a heathered purple color here. And then I found this yarn variegated colors over at, I think it was Hobby Lobby. And I started making the tassels for it, which you can see some of them work well, some of them are a little too blue. But before I put the tassels on, I thought maybe I should try it on and see what this looks like. I'm gonna pop up a couple pictures for you. It is so big. It is so big. I'm not going to put the tassels on because it's just, it's too long. If I make this again, I'm going to need to go down a size and shorten it. For reference, I'm five, five and a half. Why did I hesitate when I was saying that? I know what my idea is. The other thing is open on the side and I discovered that my bra would show depending on how I moved. And I don't plan on layering this over anything. It's just, it's too warm. I showed it to my husband and I said, I just don't know if I'm ever gonna wear this. He said, actually, you probably would like it for just lounging around the house. And it also would be perfect as the weather starts to cool down and we sit outside in the evening around the fire. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna wear it. I just want you to be aware of this if you sew it yourself. Think about if you want it really oversized like this is, and I cut my normal size. It's a, it's a medium 1214. I typically do a 1214 for something like this and I could easily go down as you can see from the photos. I have some other things in the works for this week. As you'll see, I'm pretty ambitious on what I want to accomplish next week. It's probably not realistic, but I'm still gonna try. Style Art Patterns just released a new pattern. It is a jumpsuit and a dress. I think it is adorable, even though I have said over and over and over that I'm not gonna wear jumpsuits. I think I'm tempted now. I do like the style lines on this jumpsuit, and this is the fabric that I think I will use. This is a twill. It's got a really nice drape to it. Purchased it from Fabric Mart Fabrics about two years ago. I even know what dress pattern I had in mind when I purchased the fabric. However, I just never got around to sewing it and realized that I don't wear dresses that often, so why waste my time sewing another dress? I think it would be really fun in the jumpsuit. 
might be a little bold. Who cares? And then that's another piece of fabric gone from my stash. Another style art pattern that I am going to sew this week is the Palermo. Why do I always say that wrong? Pal Palermo? Palermo pants. Somebody let me know the right way to pronounce that. Leave it in the comments. This is one of the patterns that I shared with you in my recent style art pattern haul video. And I mentioned that I wasn't real sure I'm attracted to it. I kind of like the design. It looks very comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I have this fabric picked out. This is a cotton knit fabric that I purchased when we took our trip to San Antonio this summer. It's a cotton knit, cotton knit jersey. And I think it'll be really fun. I'll report back on what we think about the pants once they're done. I have mentioned it over and over and over that I don't like plaids and I gotta kind of eat my words because I'm gonna sew a pair of plaid pants in the April 2021 Berta Style Magazine. There is a pair of pants. These aren't plaid. I'll show the design line to you. But there's this pair of pants. It's got a slight little flare at the bottom with a little slit at the hemline. I think they are a very cute pair of pants. Well, obviously, or why would I be sewing them? And I have this fabric. It's a plaid. Can you believe it? It's a plaid. This was in a Fabric Mart Fabrics mystery bundle. And at the time, I remember saying, I don't know that I'm actually going to use it because I don't sew plaids. I don't wear plaids. I don't particularly like plaids. But I mean, I have the fabric. I might as well use it up. I'm trying to sew through my stash in case you can't tell. And I'm going to try it in those pants. I do think the pants will go well with the Style Arc Logan jacket that I sewed. The linen one that has the indigo paint splatter design on it, it has a little bit of that blue in here. I also think it will work with the uh, Style Arc Joan Top. That Joan Top might have a little bit too much orange in it for this. Watch for Sharon wearing plaid soon. I have one more garment that I want to sew. And now that I'm looking at this, I don't think this could get done next week. I'm pretty ambitious with the three things that I've already shared with you. However, I want to sew the new cashmere Rose Claire dress. Now, wow, I got a little theme going on here because what I'm gonna say is I don't wear wrap dresses. And when I have sewn them, I don't mind them, but they just feel fussy to me when I wear them. Does that make sense? I actually sewed the cashmere wrap dress and I love the fit on it, but maybe it's just that I don't wear dresses. Now I'm kind of rethinking what I'm going to do, but I bought the fabric, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I bought enough fabric to make the, the maxi dress, the maxi wrap dress. What I like about the cashmere pattern is that it already has the cup adjustment done for me because if you are full or busted like I am, wrap dresses can be a challenge to get to fit properly without getting a gaping right here. I bought this lovely fabric from Style Maker Fabrics. This was part of their new fall release. Somebody on the fall style tour had sewn a dress out of this. Absolutely love it. Love the colors, love the flowiness. I think it will be beautiful in that maxi dress. What I am going to do is I am going to do a test of the bodice part of the dress just to make sure that I like it. Maybe this will be the one that changes my mind on wrap dresses. <laughs> Those are my plans for this week. As you can see, I'm not going to get them all done, but I'm going to get started on them. I mentioned blanket wraps are pretty popular for this fall. If you go into any store, you're probably going to find them. I found one at Tuesday morning of all places. I was in Tuesday morning looking for some care package items. They have a lot of those specialty food items. Putting together a care package for someone I know that is serving overseas at the moment. And look at what I found. There was a lot of them. I really liked the pink and gray. Let's see, there we go. How cute is this? It's funny, the pink and gray, I do remember in the early 80s wearing pink and gray. Funny how everything just comes back again. And while I was there, I found this blanket throw. And I love the texture on it and the fringe. And I think I might try and make a blanket cape out of it. I'll let you know how that goes. In last week's Friday Sews video, I shared with you six free PDF patterns from Sew News. It is their quick and easy volume one collection. They have volume two out. I think I got confused. I think they announced volume two and I thought it was volume one, which is why I shared volume one with you. Today I'm sharing volume two with you. There are another six free PDF patterns in volume two. 
they include, oh, you know what? Let me back up just a sec. All of the PDF patterns are available in sizes 0 to 34. You can find the specific measurements when you download that PDF. Just know that it's available in sizes 0 to 34. Okay, back to what's included. The Trinchera t-shirt, which is a boxy tee with a slightly cropped hemline. And I do like that this could be a little scrap buster. You see how they've color blocked it. Then we have the Collins Wrap Culottes. This wide leg culotte has a curved front slit and you can finish that with a facing or with a contrast binding. Next, we have peak paneled undies. It's described as scrap friendly undies. If you've never sewn undies before, this could be a good way to try with the free pattern. Next, vintagely tiered skirt. This is an A-line wrap skirt with a gathered ruffle. Then there's the Bailey drawstring backpack. This uses three different fabrics. You can use quilting cottons and you can see there's a little bit of quilting on it. And that closes with the pull of those shoulder straps. The last piece available in this collection is the Clear Creek Camp Shirt, and this is your classic button-up shirt with a notched collar. Wanted to share this with you. Make sure you are aware that these are another six free patterns available to you. They are PDFs, so you do need to download them and tape them together. And this volume two is described as building on volume one, so perfect for beginners and beyond. On the life front, I don't have a lot of updates for you, but I am happy to tell you that life feels like it's calming down just a little bit and I'm going to have a chance to get back into the sewing room on a more regular basis. We are considering another trip to see family in the next couple months and we're really fortunate because we have a house sitter and a dog sitter, which means we don't have to kennel our little one. I know if you have dogs and you spoil them like we do, raise your hand. Our philosophy has always been, if we're gonna have a pet, they're just gonna be part of our family. And our little one is spoiled rotten and we love her to death. All that to say, we don't wanna put her in a kennel. We don't wanna board her. So we're really fortunate that we have found a couple of people that are willing to house sit and dog sit when we do decide to travel to see family. And I just said that I'm sewing through my stash, but you know, if we're in Minnesota, I'm gonna to go to SR Harris and I'm gonna buy solid color fabrics, solid color fabrics solid color fabrics. I wish there was a way you could keep me accountable to that, <laughs> but my friend Lori will probably go with me. So I'm going to let her know I must buy solid color fabrics. If that does happen in the next couple months, you'll be seeing another fabric haul video from SR Harris and it'll probably be boring because it hopefully will be solid color fabrics. I would like to hear what your sewing plans are for the week. Leave it in the comments below for me. Maybe you will inspire me to change my mind and sew something that you're going to sew. You never know. I also want to know, leave it in the comments. Should I try the one question? Five takes. See, and that's why I have to edit because I just did that backwards. It is the five questions, one take. Let me know if I should try that. That could actually be really bad. <laughs> let, me, let me know what you think. Should I try it? If you enjoyed this sewing chat, you might like my other sewing chats. I'll link the playlist above and put it in the description box below. Until I see you in the next video, I hope you have a blessed day and happy sewing. Other things that I have planned. Okay, I don't know if she's gonna, she's not gonna stay put. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I can't cross my finger. Maybe a blanket, not a blanket. Move, moving on.